Welcome to Sujitra Statistics Classes. Today we are going to discuss negative binomial distribution. And we are restricted with respect to the syllabus of University of Calicut for complementary statistics students. Let us revise what is a binomial experiment. A binomial experiment is an experiment consisting of a fixed number of independent trials, each with two possible outcomes, occurrence or non-occurrence or success or failure and with the same probability of occurrence that is same probability for success or a binomial experiment is an experiment consisting of a fixed number of independent Bernoulli trials. The negative binomial experiment is almost the same as a binomial experiment with one difference. In a binomial experiment, we have a fixed number of trials. But in negative binomial experiment, we have fixed number of successes. We repeat the performing Bernoulli trials until the rth success occurs. That is, number of trials will vary. And this is an example for differentiating binomial experiment as well as negative binomial experiment. You flip a coin repeatedly for a fixed number of times and count the number of times the coin turns on heads is binomial. That is, we have fixed number of trials. If you continue flipping the coin until it has turned a particular number of heads, say five times on the heads, then it is negative binomial since the number of trials will vary from person to person. A negative binomial experiment is a statistical experiment that has the following properties. The experiment consists of x plus r repeated trials where r is the number of successes. Each trial can result in just two possible outcomes say a success and the other a failure. The probability of success denoted by P is the same on every trial. The trials are independent. The outcome on one trial does not affect the outcome on other trials. The experiment continues until R successes are observed where R is specified in advance. Now let us define negative binomial distribution. A random variable x is said to follow a negative binomial distribution if its probability mass function is given by f of x equal to x plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 p raised to r, q raised to x, x varies from 0, 1 to infinity and p plus q equal to 1 equal to 0 elsewhere. Consider a Bernoulli sequence of trials with the probability of success p and probability of failure q. Let f of x be the probability that x plus r trials will be required to produce r successes. That is, in x plus r minus 1 trials, we get r minus 1 successes. And the next, that is, x plus r the trial is a success. Then, f of x equal to x plus r minus 1, c r minus 1, p raised to r minus 1, q raised x into p. Therefore, f of x equal to x plus r minus 1, c r minus 1, p raised to r, q raised x 
for x varies from 0, 1 to etc. and p plus q equal to 1. We know that x plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 is x plus r minus 1 c x sins n c x equal to n c n minus x. We can write that expression x plus r minus 1 c x in this following manner. Take minus 1 outside from the each term of numerator. So, how many terms we have in the numerator? We have x terms in the numerator. So, we have minus 1 raised to x into instead of r we have minus r instead of r plus 1 we have minus r minus 1 and so on. So, the term become minus 1 raised to x into minus r into minus r minus 1 etc into minus r minus x plus 1 divided by x factorial that is equal to minus 1 raised to x minus r c x. Therefore, f of x is minus 1 raised to x into minus r c x p raised to r q raised to x which is equal to combine minus 1 raised to x and q raised to x together we will get minus r c x p raised to r minus q raised to x. The PDF of a negative binomial distribution can be written as f of x equal to minus r c x p raised to r minus q raised to x, x varies from 0, 1 to etc and p plus q equal to 1 equal to 0 elsewhere. And mean of a negative binomial distribution is r into q by p and variance is r into q by p square. And from this mean and variance we come to a conclusion that in a negative binomial distribution, mean is always greater than variance. And moment generating function mxt of a negative binomial distribution is p divided by 1 minus q e raised to t all raised to r. A negative binomial distribution is also called the Pascal distribution. Let capital Y be the number of trials needed to get R successes. P of Y equal to small y equal to F of Y is equal to Y minus 1 C R minus 1 P raised to R Q raised to Y minus R. Y varies from R, R plus 1, R plus 2 etc. And P plus Q equal to 1 equal to 0 elsewhere. So in Pascal's distribution, y is nothing but x plus r in the first form of negative binomial distribution. So, we can write y follows b star y r p denotes negative binomial distribution. So, let us rewind what we have discussed today. The negative binomial experiment is almost the same as a binomial experiment with one difference. A binomial experiment has a fixed number of trials but in negative binomial experiment we have fixed number of successes. A random variable x is said to follow a negative binomial distribution if its probability mass function is given by f of x equal to x plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 p raised to r q raised to x x varies from 0 1 2 etc and and p plus q equal to 1 equal to 0 elsewhere or f of x equal to minus r c x p raised to r minus q raised to x x varies from 0 1 2 etc p plus q equal to 1 and equal to 0 elsewhere. 
mean of a negative binomial distribution is r into q by p variance is r into q by p square mean is always greater than or equal to variance and moment generating function mxt is p by 1 minus q e raised to t all raised to r thank you for watching the video if this is found to be useful then like and subscribe sujitra statistics classes thank you once again